Hello, I'm Karen Elgizma at Le Chateau, and you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, James Green has a bluesy story that will lift your spirits. And Dan Kahn hits the streets to find out why people don't want to play his favorite game with him. All that and much more on Go Island. Well, hello, and thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. We are going to suit you up today because we are at Le Chateau with Jody Byrons, who is going to inspire all of us how to take a suit and turn it around 10 different ways from Sunday. Because you can't buy 122 suits, but every day you go to work, you take your suit out of your closet, and you're like, oh, oh I don't want to wear this suit again today, but I got a presentation, and I got to look professional. So let's begin, Jody. With is the suit? Is it in? Is it hot this fall? Well, I feel like a lot of people are going back to work, going back to school, or there's a lot of business students going to UVic or whatever, and yes. they do need to wear a suit. They have to look professional. But a lot of people associate with buying a suit as looking, you know, like a boring little work outfit. It yeah. shouldn't be like that. You should still have fun with your work wardrobe. Renee, come on out. Now, Renee, beautiful. Yeah. Strut your stuff. I'm going to tell you all a little bit about this beautiful woman as she uh, shows this gorgeous black suit to us. But Renee is uh, our sales and marketing um, supreme commander uh, at Shaw, uh, Shaw Media. And it's so fun to have you as a model here today, Renee. You look gorgeous. Doesn't she look awesome? I know. She looks beautiful every day. But I'm telling you right now, she looks like Miss Fall. Now, tell us what she's wearing. Well, who better to put in a suit than Renee? Like, yes. She's power woman, power yes, business woman. So I put her, basically, we're going to start with our black suit. But we've taken this um, black suit and made it a little fun with the plaid little cami underneath. Oh, that plaid cami is adorable. So you don't have to do the white button down every time. This is just a little spaghetti strap cami, and it just like jazzes it up, adds a little pop of color. A lot of people think they should always go black and white, but having a pop of color, especially for a job interview, makes you super memorable. So and it helps you stand out against the rest. And we've just done a really nice fitted one button blazer. So it has a lot of shape, even when it's hanging open. So you can wear it open and it's not gonna like be too right. much fabric. That's what you wanna look for. This fabric has a lot of stretch in it. It wears really well, it moves with your layers. And then we paired it with a really nice straight leg pant. So it's just like really nice and streamlined. She looks nice and long and lean. And with the T-strap pointy toe pump, that does it even more. Like Absolutely. that helps add to the effect. To get shape in something when you're wearing a jacket open or a flouncy blouse to get more shape, this is why we did this necklace. And it's like an arrow pointing right to the waist. So it brings her in when you can't get that because we're not doing up the jacket. So it's just a really great little detail drawing the eye to the waist. The blues, if you're gonna sing them, if you're gonna own them, you gotta have a story to go with it. And James Green met up with a street performer who's got the story and the song. Nothing like a little blues to brighten your day. And there's nothing like a beautiful woman wearing a hot suit to make you smile, Jody. What is Renee wearing? Because we're here, we're here to teach you everything you ever wanted to know about how to make your suit sexy, sophisticated, business-like, everything you've ever wanted to know. Oh yeah, so we've taken the same shell of the suit and what, what have we done? Well, we, we tipped the jacket yeah. and we we wanted to jazz up the jacket. We wanted The whole point of this is to break up your basic black suit. So what I wanted to do to jazz this up is add an amazing, like edgier printed bottom. So I took these houndstooth, these gray and black houndstooth ankle crop pants and uh, we put, we polished it with the same jacket she was just wearing with the suit. So here we see that you can break it up. There's a lot of versatility here. A lot of people have to wear or think that they have to wear, you know, just a um, button down collared shirt to work in white. Uh, we sell a lot of them, but I wanted to jazz it up and make it a little more interesting. Mm -hmm. So we uh, put this little sweater vest over top, which Cute. just, it's, it just gives it a little bit more of a flair. And then to make it fashion forward and awesome. I put this crazy 
statement necklace on. Yeah, because the bling makes you want to sing. I love that. <laughs> it's so it's, awesome. It's just, I mean, it could be a little bit much for some people, so you could jazz this up with a little belt at the waist, but I wanted to make it interesting, and what better way to personalize your outfit than accessorize with something that you love, and I love vintage-inspired statement pieces. When you're doing um, an, a pant that hits you right at the ankle, make sure, like, a little pointy toe shoe like this is the best because it keeps the leg nice and long, and these shoes are just too cute for work. Now, Dan Kahn loves to play this, but apparently no one else does, and it irks him. So he hit the streets to find out why nobody wants to play this with him. Dan Kahn, if you ever want to play cards, call me. My favorite game, Dutch Blitz. I'll teach you how. I'll beat you, but it will be fun. Uh, we're here at Le Chateau because everybody needs a nice suit for work for those occasions, but we need to know how to do it fashionably and we need to look good in it. So Renee, come on out and show us how it's done. Oh my gosh, Renee, uh, yeah, look at her. What is she wearing? She, you look amazing. So this was the, um, this is the black skirt that matches the black suit. Right. So, yep. And also we have the double knit trench that is also the same fabrication as the suit. And then we've jazzed it up with the hound's tooth, gray hound's tooth top that matched the gray hound's tooth pants that we just saw. So here I've taken two suits and just totally mixed it up. And when you do get all the pieces to a suit, I always suggest to do it. Don't stimp out on the skirt or the pant. Get like get all three because or four or whatever. How many pieces come with it? Because you're really gonna do like 20 outfits with it with stuff you already have at home. So we have the hound's tooth top and we've tucked it into this high-waisted skirt, which is so flattering. And then we just added a statement necklace that kept it a little more subtle. It's just like a light woven chain of gunmetal, so it gives it a bit of edge, but it's not too over the top. And then we've just braided it up with this great burgundy shoe. Okay, the shoe makes me crazy. I love it. And you know what I love, Jody, is I love it that it's the pop of color that you yeah. look to. So it just really like, Whoa! And it's love not, it. I, you know me about being matchy-matchy. Yes. Um, you don't want to do like your red top with your red shoe with yes. your red earrings My. or whatever. So I just brought this color in by tying a really kind of fun scarf on the bag as opposed to wearing it. I love the gloves. Uh, we have to take a very short break, but go nowhere. When we come back, we're going to continue to show you how to make your suit fabulous and we're going to show you uh, how to get into the best most important most uh, I don't know pie facing food fight that you could possibly get into <laughs> Chateau talking about the suit. Renee, come on out. This is yet another look for the fall winter suit. Jody, what's she wearing? Well, so the black dress she's wearing, I'll just unbutton this, show you. This is a dress that matches the black suit we've been oh talking gosh. about and seen throughout the segment. And then we have jazzed this black dress up like we had jazzed up a black suit with this amazing houndstooth blazer. Wow. So once again, you take the same staples yep. and you just rotate stuff around. So this is the same blazer that matched the pants we saw, yes. the houndstooth pants, and the blouse she just came out in. And we just decided to put it with the black dress that matches the black suit. And of course, this was on the purse, this now it's actually purse. on her, yes. Yeah. So this just goes to show you that like this is it's basically two suits and how many outfits have we created. And then I could go, I could do like a hundred different looks with all of these pieces. But this is the same scarf on the purse and it still looks great with this. Um, we've mixed the prints. I love mixing prints. Yes. As long as one print is on a bigger scale than the other, you can do that. So don't be scared to try it out. Yes. It's not like you have to wear this all day. We saw that you can tie it on your purse. Right. But I decided to do this clutch with this outfit because she can fit like a little mini iPad in there. Nice. Whatever. And she yes. could still take this look out after work. Yes. And then we've paired it with a really sleek almond toe boot. We are now going to take a small break, but go nowhere. Because when we come back, we're going to go kayaking and more right here at Le Chateau.
Well, thank you so much. Thank you. As always, Jody, for inspiring us to uh, be a fashion forward and comfortable. And always, of course, you always think about a budget, which I love. Yes. You know, you make yeah. the most out of every item. Yeah. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope to see all of you sporting a suit and looking fine. We'll see you next time. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J.